everybody, welcome back. I am so sorry that I didn't get a video uploaded on Saturday. I rent and unfortunately, unbeknownst to me, like seven roofers showed up Saturday and replaced the roof, which is awesome. The leak has been going on since the beginning of March. So super, super glad and thankful that got the roof done, but there was no way that I was filming a video that y'all would have heard me in. It would have just been pounding, banging craziness. Um, so I apologize, but this week we will be back onto our regular schedule, Monday, Tuesday, and Saturday uploads. Um, and since I missed Saturdays for this past week, we'll just jump right into that. And so today we'll, we will be doing the Boxy Charm try on, and I am going to include some Slay Glam try uh, products to try on as well. Um, so we'll go through real quick what, what I have to try on and then kind of put everything on my face. That's why it's kind of blank right now. Please, please consider subscribing. I would love for y'all to join my family. Uh, click that bell so you'll be notified of my uploads. Um, and without any more talk, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into all the products. So first, let's talk. This is the, pro the um, palette that I got in the Slay Glam box for March. I actually don't have my Slay Glam box for April yet. It has not even shipped. Um, I'm not sure what to think about that, but anyways, this palette I have used several times. It is beautiful. I love it. I love the colors. The um, metallic shadows are gorgeous. They look beautiful on the eye, um, so we'll include some colors for this. However, you really do need an eye primer with this for them to last all day. If you don't use an eye primer, wah, wah, not going to work. <laughs> so one palette. We have Another palette, um, this is the premium um, palette from Smashbox that I received. Oh, and I lost the pencil. It does have quite a few colors in it. Um, I don't know what we'll do today with all the colors. And then I'm going to get the pencil that I just dropped out of it that fell on the floor. It is a just a black regular pencil. Um, I have not used a pencil like this in ever. Um, so we'll see what I think about that. I do also have the Caitlin. Um, this was from the Slay Glam March box, the Caitlin Eye Balm base. Um, so we will use that as the primer today. I used it before. Uh, not loving it. It's very, very balmy, just like the name says, um, and not quite dry enough. I feel like it's a little too sticky, but we'll try it again. We'll see what it is like. I do also have the Mysterious 2 face palette from Slay Glam. Again, it's from O-K-A-L-A-N. I'm not even going to try it. Anyways, um, we have quite a few shadows, or I mean quite a few blushes, bronzers, highlighters. So we'll use that on the face today. That's kind of why face is blank. I do have this Nude Sticks um, Premium Box Lipstick in Waikiki Rose. So we'll use this on the lips. And then last but not least, hang on one second, I gotta go get the other pencil. Okie doke, I'm back. I did put on um, brows real quick because I didn't realize we don't have any brow products. And then I got the eyeliner that we received, the Caitlyn double-ended eyeliner in the Slay Glam box. Um, I have tried this once already. It fades like a mama. Um, but we're going to try it again today. I'll show you guys what it looks like by the end of the day so that you can see how bad this actually does fade. It does not last very long at all. Um, and so we're going to jump in and start putting products all on my face. So first things first, I'm going to do the eye base. Um, and I am just going to use my finger to kind of initially spread it on there. So there's my eye from my get this put all on and then I'll make sure it's all blended out with the brush real quick um, I'm going to use this big palettes mirror so I can see what's going on and we'll just make sure that it is blended out okay so eye primers on we're gonna go ahead and jump right in I am going to use, so this is one of the brushes that I received in the BoxyCharm base box. It's the Lavish Brush, brush 
set and so there is not really a very light color in the caliente that's one of that is one of my complaints the lightest color is this pina colada color which is very very pinky so we're going to start with this beautiful regular kind of bony color and we're going to go ahead and we're going to put it kind of all over the eyes because i do notice because this primer is so balmy if you don't lay something down first then it just catches everything, especially if you start with a um, darker shadow in your crease, it just catches and then it doesn't blend out very well. Um, with all of the colors, I think we're gonna do, oh, I would like to do a blue, but we're not blue. So I guess we're gonna do a kind of a brownish-ish look um, and we'll kind of use some different um, products from both of the eye palettes. So first thing I'm going to jump into is this kind of brownish red one called Dulce de Leche. Um, and we're going to go ahead and put that kind of right um, above the crease and just start blending out. And so you can see <clears throat> eye base. I did lay down that light um, layer of that bone color from the Smashbox and even still it just catches just a little bit. So you have to be really careful with that eye primer because otherwise you end up with these big weird splotches of, of shadow where you don't want it. And so now I'm gonna get the Fluffy Blur brush um, and we're gonna blend, blend, blend. Just kind of blend this in, make sure that there's not that weird funky little catch right there in the crease. And same thing on this side, um, again, <laughs> Left eye I do great with, right eye I struggle with, I don't know why. Struggle, struggle, struggle. We more there. We're still with that same color, that Dulce de Leche color. And this is just a clean brush that I'm just kind of blending it out with. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and jump into the um, Smashbox palette here. And we're going to take this brown shade right here. They do not have the colors on the front. They actually have them on the back. And... This one looks like it is called Java. So we're gonna put Java right at the outer, outer, outer edge. It's kind of that dark brown one. So we'll kind of build up that outer V with this dark brown. And then we'll have to blend, blend, blend. Hmm, I like that color. That's a pretty, pretty color. So same thing, clean brush. I'm just blending, 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 getting that darker brown kind of blended in here. Just trying to keep it right in the outer V and trying to blend up when I blend. Same thing on this side. So what do we look like? That's a weird little mirror. Again, never can get the matching. That's okay. I really like that brown. That is a really pretty dark brown. That is just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, okay, so next one that we're going to go into is in the Smashbox palette, there is Almond and then Drop Top that are kind of part of that, that whole pair right here. So I took the Java, I used the Bone. We're going to use those two shimmers on the lid. And I am going to start without putting them on a wet brush. Um, I'm actually going to use my... I love, if I can find it, these Profusion brushes. They are great for a little detail work, so that's what I'm actually going to do. We're going to put this um, almond shade kind of right in the inner corner. Definitely not super, super metallic. And then I'm going to use the other brush here, and I'm going to do the drop top kind of in the middle and kind of blend those two together. Hmm, I don't know that I can see a huge heck of difference there, huh? Um, those shades are so similar that I don't know that I can, maybe now I can, it's a little, build it up a little more. Uh, not a heck of a lot of difference there. Um, I am going to take a blender brush and just blend those in real quick since they're so similar. We'll just kind of blend out that seam. And then I am going to take my um, 
my spray that I put here up in the corner and I'm going to spray a flat brush and we'll see if getting it wet first makes a difference. Um, so I'm just going to use, I'm using my Ofra setting spray, um, just missed the tip of a brush right here and I'm going to go back into that first almond color and see if I can't make it a little more metallic on that inner corner, which is what I would like. Mm -hmm. So not super, super metallic. Um, I'm gonna show you guys, I know this is probably gonna be super crazy. But I'm gonna use a little bit of this pink one from this color. Um, everything is, is kind of pinky brown and I'm going to kind of go over that middle part of the eye with a little bit of that pink. The um, metallic shadows in the Caliente palette are just beautiful and when you get them on the eye, I don't even have to use a setting spray most of the time. When you put them on the eye, they just look gorgeous. Just so sparkly and pretty. Again, use that eye base, they last all day. They are beautiful. Um, and then I'm going to use one of the Smashbox colors. We are going to use this really light, um, really light color right here that is Venice Peach, I think. I don't know. Venice Peach is what we're saying it is. And then I'm going to use this other lavish brush right here that I got in the other boxy charm, and I'm just going to put that right on the inner corner. And I think I'm going to mix that with this other lighter color to kind of give that inner corner highlight. And I do always like to just bring it down right there, kind of on the bottom part of that eye. I don't know why. I think it looks cool. So that's where we're going to leave the eyes. Um, <laughs> very, very normal, boring, neutral color. I do really like that Java, that brown in there. Not super impressed with the sparkles from this one. Love all the colors with this. I actually did a really pretty blue and yellow look. Looked gorgeous. So really like the Caliente palette. Smashbox, um, it's good. It's decent. Uh, we'll see how they wear. We'll put this to the side. Next thing that we're going to use, eyeliner. Eyeliner, eyeliner. So double-ended. We are not going to use the pencil brush on this side. We are actually going to use the um, felt liner on this side and we are going to do a line right at the eyelashes just so you guys can see. I am going to do a little bit of a wing so that you guys can see how this wears during the day and you can see the difference here. Time, sorry, can't talk and do wing at the same time. So just itty bitty one just so you can see what's going down. This is a super black eyeliner. I do appreciate that. I um, Initially I was in error and I said that it was a um, brush tip. It is actually a felt tip. Easy to work with. It does not, um, there's not a lot of give to the felt tip so you can get a nice line, super easy. I just wish it lasted longer. That's my biggest complaint. So we'll show you how that looks. So um, nice little line each side there. We are going to use this, I guess, in our waterline. I'm not gonna line the whole waterline there. I'm just gonna do the very um, bottom edge. I typically don't like black. In my waterline, I'll use cream or white or one of those other colors because I think it just brightens up a little bit. I do feel like um, black darkens the eyes quite a little bit, makes mine a little more inset. So don't often use that. It went on fine, it was nice and smooth. Um, I'll give you a swatch on my hand just so you guys can kind of see. It is super, super creamy. Um, so I do really like the way it feels and it's always on gel liner eye. My camera just stopped recording. I don't know where we stopped. So swatch that eye gel liner in fishnet is the color. 
looks very black to me. It went on well. You can see it just in my eye. We'll see how it holds up in the water, water line. Okay, next is the face palette. Um, so we are going to bronze just a little bit. There is a <laughs> very shimmery and a very not shimmery bronze. Um, so we'll do a little bit of the not shimmery. Um, and I actually like two, um, so a lot of people bring it straight down. I kind of like to curve it up just a little bit because as I've gotten older, um, I feel like it makes my cheeks look fuller, which is what I want instead of kind of so stark um, of a line. So we'll just kind of blend that in a little bit. You can see that shadow. I'm going to take a little bit right under and then we'll do a little bit right around the hairline. Um, it's actually a nice color. Um, I like it. I don't dislike it at all. I am terrible at contouring the nose and unfortunately I have a little bit of a red nose going on here so we're gonna avoid the contour on the nose and just that a little bit pretend like that's good we're in the sun. Um, I like it. It's a nice color. It shows up fine. I like it. Let's I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared of this this oh, I'm a lot scared of this um, shiny one. Remember when we swatched it it is we sparkly. Um, so I just tap my brush in there just a little bit and I have, so instead of tapping it off, I have such a bad habit to make sure it goes all over the brush. I kind of rub it on the palette. It wrecks your mirror, so if you need the mirror, don't do that. Um, but I feel like that distributes the product on the brush just a little bit more and it's all over instead of in one place. Um, I don't know if it does anything. It does to me. And we're just kind of going over that same area. And then I am going to take this because I got a little crazy up here and just kind of blend that out a little bit so that we don't have quite so much. Um, I like it. Uh, it does, sh the, the especially the sparkly one shows up a little more red for me than for brown, but I like it. It's good. We'll see how it lasts. I'm going to take my Real Techniques brush that is dirty that I need to clean, sorry. And I'm going to mix both of the blushes together. So this is kind of like a pinky. This is more of a peachy. It looks like they may be satin, not matte. And we're just going to take a little, and I, like I said to you, want the, that mirror. So let's use this mirror over here. And just give a little bit of a flush to the cheeks. Um, again, for me, I tend to do my blush kind of up. Um, if I do it just on the apples of the cheeks, I feel like it doesn't look as good on me. So that's what we're doing. Do the other side real quick. I love blush. I'm sure I put too much on, but I like it. It's pretty color. Um, we'll see how long it lasts. They did some very nice pigment in this. Um, so very pretty. We're going to use the highlight from this as well, and then we will finish up the face, put on the lipstick, and see what's going on. Um, so there are two. There is a darker champagne gold one and then a really, really light one. I'm going to put the light one on first just to see what it looks like just by itself. Um, right there on the, just right there on the cheeks, kind of bring it around a little, a little bit right there. Oh, that's super pretty. Um, not super dark. I really, really like it. I don't know if you can kind of see the sheen in it just a little bit. You can see how that just catches the light. It is, so I'm super fair. For me, it works really well, that color, because it is just, just the right color. I'm going to go ahead and, why not? We're going to put a little bit of the gold on top of it and just see what that looks like, um, just so we can see the difference here. Okay. So gold side, and you can definitely see much more of a uh, goldy champagne versus more of an icy. I really like the icy. Um, but just so I match and I'm not looking crazy all day, we're gonna put a little more of that gold on it and make sure we match. All sparkled up. Okay, 
I like that. I really enjoy that palette. That's actually really nice. We'll see how long it lasts. If it does, great. Love it. So, so far for the Slay Glam box, I have been really impressed with the products. I love that Caliente, that um, face palette that we just used with that highlighter and the brush, a little bit of the bronzer, really, really nice. Super nice that it's all in one palette so that you can take it with you anywhere traveling. I do really enjoy that. Um, it is a harder cardboard, but you'd still probably need to be careful if you're traveling with it. It's not like a solid plastic packaging like the Smashbox solid plastic. I mean, it's not going anywhere. Um, Smashbox I liked. It was okay. I really like the Caliente eyeshadows. I think they look gorgeous. I love their quality. Um, they blend out really easy, and the metallic or those shimmery shadows show up just beautifully on the eyelid, so I really like that. Um, I do not like the Slay Glam eyeliner, but I'll show you guys what that looks like later. Um, we'll see what the um, Smashbox eyeliner does in my waterline, if it stays, if it doesn't stay, what happens. Next, we're going to go in with the Waikiki Rose real quick and put that on the lips. And last time I said, it, for me, I have really dry lips. Um, I've heard several reviews of this product that it doesn't dry down for them. Um, but because I have, can't talk and put lipstick on, hold on, hold please. So one thing I do like is that it is a, yeah, I know, still trying to talk with the lipstick on. It is a paddle foot, um, of an applicator versus a, um, doe foot or a slanted so that you can take the very, very tip and use it to kind of define your lines. Do really like that. We'll wait for a minute to let it dry down some. I did get quite a bit of product on there, um, but it's a nice color. I'm not sure that it goes with this look exactly. It's a little more um, orangey red. I uh, probably would have picked a more nude color, but we are gonna put some nude gloss on it because my lippies are dry. Um, so forgive this, my dog chewed it up. My, my dog likes to chew up stuff, crazy dog. It is the pure lip gloss. Yeah, there's a little mirror on it. I think it's cute. And it, it was a light so that you can see where you're putting it. But don't shoot it up so it looks crazy. Anyways, pure, um, is there pure lip gloss in, I don't even know, I can't see what color. I like it. Um, it's nice and creamy, it kind of helps things just uh, not be so dry and it does change the color a little bit to make it a little more nudie. So there we are, we're gonna spray with my um, Ofra setting spray that I got in my mystery box. I actually really enjoy this. It does help my <coughs> makeup last longer. Don't talk while you put it on because it's really gross when you do that. You'd think I'd learn by now. Anyways, um, it does help makeup last longer. It kind of sets everything down. I do really like it. So I've, I'm going to step out, put some mascara on because I don't have a mascara that came in any of the boxes. Um, the time right now is 3.30. 8, 3.38. Um, I'll come back later on this evening and show you kind of how everything wore so you can see how the eyeliner wore, see how all of the face products wore and the lipstick and we'll go from there. Thanks. Hi, I'm back. So kind of a quick check-in for all the products. I do really, really like this face palette. It has lasted really well. You can still see the blush. It looks good. Um, it is about 8.15, let's see, 8.16 exactly. So it's been on almost five hours. So granted, not a super long wear test, but you can see products hasn't faded any. Looks really nice. Um, lips are completely dry right now, so they don't transfer. Of course, the lip gloss wears off because that wears off really quick. Um, uh, it has, um, it definitely has started to fade in the inner part right here. So you can see that it's wear worn off there and it's not as dark all over. I don't, so the first time I wore it, it did not dry my lips out very badly. However, my lips are so dry today and I don't know if it's the lip product or if it's my lips or both or what. So I'll have to keep trying that. It's not a bad color. It's not a bad formula. It does dry down so it doesn't come off. Um, I, I was not bad at all. Um, eyeshadows. So eyeshadows have lasted. I did put that base on. Um, 
So the Caitlin Eye Base, again, very, very creamy. Um, however, eyes have not really creased at all. You can see the eyeshadow is still all really there. Even inner corner part is all still really there. I do like it. Um, for the eye liner, I don't know if you can see this, but and this is what happened the last time, especially after a full day. Here towards the outer edge of my eye, it starts to wear away. So like right here, the line is starting to wear away and starting to be gone. Not as bad on this side, but you can see it just a little bit right there. And for me, when I wear a liquid eyeliner, I expect it to be on and at least last my full day. This is only five hours in. At eight hours, it's gonna be completely gone. So I would say definitely that eyeliner, the Caitlin Oh Wow double-ended eyeliner, not something that I would ever repurchase. The Caitlin Eye Base is okay. There are some that I prefer better than that one that are not as emollient, not as creamy, so that you can get the shadows down, but it does fine. It does make the shadows last, and so these lasted really well. Smashbox Eye Shadows, um, not bad. Um, beautiful packaging on the palette. It is hard plastic. I do like that. I hate that the pencil is in there because every time you turn it or move it, the pencil falls out, so I don't like that. Um, the colors are good. I would like, sorry, getting the pencil. <laughs> I would like for the metallics to be just a little bit um, brighter and more metallic-y. <laughs> I don't think that's a word, but you know what I mean. Um, more oomph behind them so that they sparkle. If I'm gonna put some kind of a shimmer or metallic on my eye, I want it to be just bang right there. Um, the Caliente palette, I do really, really like this. I, I actually really like the colors in it. I really like the shadows. They blend out really well. Um, I have enjoyed this very, very much. Um, and I think that's those are all the main products that we kind of tested for, for this run. Um, so overall pretty good. Definitely some things that were worth it. Um, definitely some things that I probably wouldn't purchase or I'm glad that I didn't spend my money on to purchase that I got enough subscription box to try. Um, let me know what y'all think about your boxes, uh, what you thought about the products in them. If you are going to repurchase anything once you run out of something, kind of what you felt about it in general. Um, thank you so much for watching again. Love having y'all here. Thank you, thank you. I look forward to seeing you again. I will do my Ipsy April box um, filming tomorrow, and then we'll do the try on on Friday and then kind of go from there. Thank you all. Have a great night. Bye. Bye.